Well, hello there. Welcome back to the homestead. We made it here with all of our animals intact. Here's Safi. She's enjoying the picture window. Well, we drove all night, Thursday night, and arrived Friday morning. And we had our rabbits tucked in to this U-Haul. Hi, Brisket. <laughs> And we had the chickens in this hutch in the box trailer. And then when we arrived, the first thing we had to do was build, rebuild this chicken run for them to spend the daytime in. I'll show you that in a sec. So here are the beautiful ladies and they've been exploring this little patch in the paddock and their barn still needs to be built so they're going to spend another night or two in the box trailer they're doing okay with the change of climate it's been really cold when we arrived it was just three degrees but i think tonight it's supposed to be 10 maybe 13. <laughs> we're on a warming trend <laughs> But at least they have a beautiful view, and I'm hoping that Matt and I will be able to muscle this run around because they seem to have really trampled it pretty well. And we'll just move them along, adding to fertility. The rabbit barn is uh, semi finished, <laughs> it's finished to the point where they can have shelter in there at night and in the daytime and so everybody is <laughs> what you doing daisy oh your floof is floofy while you wash your thumper <laughs> anyways they're in mostly they're in their normal cages of course the does have the big <laughs> sweets and they have their water uh nipple lines set up. Now those are great in the daytime, but at nighttime they freeze. So we have to drain them at night and then come back and put warm water in the mornings. The babies on the other hand, back at the old place, they were living in the tractor, which we did not have room to bring with us. It's just PVC. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> these, these babies are just a, a non-stop, adorable, ridiculous, comic relief. This one right here is the pick of the litter I'm calling. <laughs> Chunky and beautiful. Anyways, so they're spending the day out here and then they go inside a travel crate for the nighttime. And so it's starting to be sundown. We haven't managed to finish the door yet and we're probably going to be removing the siding and uh, re-trimming it and fitting it nicely and then um, beefing up the security around the cracks in the bottom and cracks around the roof line that could enable critters to get in there and do evil deeds. But so we have not yet built the door. So we just take this other panel and s <laughs> screw the panel on from uh, dusk till dawn for now. Now over here you see what happens when you have a time crunch and you have to unload everything before you really have a rightful place to put it because the budget rental is going to cost extra hundreds of dollars each day that we delay. But the two of us managed to extract all of this stuff, like all of our worldly possessions that we managed to pack with the help of a number of awesome friends. 
Wow, I could not feel more blessed by the amazing help we received. Lux and James, Trisha, Chardonnay. Um, why am I forgetting someone? <laughs> LaDonna, Pamela, the, the awesome ladies turned out, but also Lux's boyfriend, James. We could not have done it without his heavy lifting, but the gals helped me pack up my studio, helped me pack my entire kitchen, and James really helped Matt cope with the garage, his desk. Wow. We are just floored by the generosity. But so this is going to be okay for a day or two. Um, the plan currently is we've got awesome shelving units that are going to go inside the shipping container, which is a jumbled up mess right now. Anyways, that's going to give us a place to locate a lot of this. Um, things for my studio are probably going to go back into the box trailer until we build a, st a shed to serve as my studio. Okay, so it is our anniversary. We've been married 23 years today. So Matt w drove into town to pick up water and gas and um, some celebratory libations. So I hope you are having a beautiful evening. It's a crisp February golden hour. I just love that view. You can see for miles and miles. So, cheers and blessings.